I was really surprised when I heard the announcement for an Elden Ring manga, like a lot of other people. I wasn't sure how they could translate the game into a digestible format while maintaining the atmosphere and wonder that makes the game so good. Is such a thing even possible? Why would they undertake such a task? Luckily, I didn't need to be worried, because they've done something rather interesting with this manga. It's a comedy, a gag manga. It portrays everything in the lands between as a joke. This might sound like it wouldn't fit, or be strange, or even just plain bad, but it's not. Here is why. I offer you an accord. Subscribe to this channel, and you shall see excellent content in your subscription feed. If you enable notifications, then thine eyes shall never miss a quality upload. Then it's settled. Farewell. So what makes the Elden Ring manga worth talking about? To answer this question, you first need to understand the nature of From Software games, and in particular, the way their lore works. Souls games are intentionally left open-ended, often prompting the player to make sense of the story themselves. If you're into Souls games, you probably already know this. The developers do this with ambiguity in cutscenes and dialogue, with obfuscating or outright omitting information, and with stories that inherently lend themselves to player interpretation. Miyazaki has said in the past, for example, that Bloodborne was intended to be inscrutable and interpretive. You are meant to make or find meaning in the story for yourself. This is why you see so many great video essays about it. People were worried, myself included, when Bandai Namco announced, shortly after the resounding success of Elden Ring's release, that they sought to make content concerning the lore of the world that wasn't in the video game format. Wouldn't a TV show or book surely speak too definitively on the lore that is meant to be murky and unclear? Even a manga would do this too, right? Well, I was wrong. So, in the process of making this video, it was announced that they were making another Elden Ring manga, a second one, different from Road of the Earth Tree, called Elden Ring Become Lord, that is going to be like a more serious adaptation aimed at sort of formalizing some things into the canon, which is kind of a weird decision as I see it, and kind of like invalidates the point of this video, but for the purposes of this video, I'm talking about Elden Ring Road to the Erd Tree which is the comedy gag manga. I am not talking about Elden Ring Become Lord, which is not out yet, even. So it turns out I might not be wrong. Anyway, back to the video. The genius of the Elden Ring manga lies in the fact that it is a comedy manga. By making light of the world of the lands between, the manga does not commit to enshrining particular facts not found in the game into the lore. It uses information found in the game to set up a joke, and then twists it into something ridiculous before committing that cardinal sin. Here's an example. We are never told why Blythe is hunting down the bloodhound knight Darrowell, found in the forlorn hound Everjail on the southern tip of Limgrave. You help Blythe kill him with the knowledge that he is a traitor and nothing more. The manga shows this quest segment and suggests that perhaps Darrowell had betrayed Ronnie. Blythe is a servant of Ronnie, so it would seem fitting that he seeks to bring justice to one who betrayed his master. But what did Darrowill do? What could be so heinous as to be hunted to death by the fearsome half-wolf? The manga lets you ruminate on this point, wondering what Darrowill could have possibly done to Ronnie to anger Blythe like this. The answer? Making a new outfit for the Ronnie doll he had. Blythe sees this as arrogant sacrilege to suppose that your own idea of what Ronnie would look best in is better than what she has chosen herself? What a foolish and traitorous idea! They were both a part of the Ronnie fan club, now fractured as a result of their argument. This is the lore answer which the manga provides. It takes a legitimate lore question and twists it into something goofy before committing to saying anything canon about the story. In addition to silly moments like this, the manga is just generally funny with lots of dumb jokes that any fan of the game will enjoy. Something else that the manga does that I haven't yet mentioned is how it puts to page a lot of the new player experience. The new player will feel that the world is set against them at every turn, that its harsh environment is brutally unforgiving. The new player will perhaps tentatively approach the Tree Sentinel in Lindgrave, only to be thoroughly destroyed on their first encounter. The new player will get tricked by patches, getting teleported to the nasty rune bear infested mistwood. These things are all experiences a fresh Elden Ring player will have, and thus they find themselves in a sale. 
That's that's the main character. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get the joke there. His name is Aseo, okay? The manga isn't just for new players, though. An experienced player can find enjoyment in watching their favorite characters be silly and interact with one another without needing to concern themselves with the canonical implications. There are easter eggs for the attentive eye. One such easter egg is when Blythe offers the player character, Aseo, membership in the official Rani fan club. Blythe extends his arm with what looks like a talisman, as he does in the game when he gives you the somber smithing stone. Players may recognize it as the Carrion Filgreed Crest, which lowers the FP cost of skills and is purchasable from EG. The manga doesn't say that's what it is or what it does, thus recognizing it for what it is is something to make readers smile. As someone who played the game on release, the manga made me reminisce on my first few days in the Lands Between, a time I look back upon fondly. It takes me back to that world before switching it up with some ridiculous joke, and I really enjoy it. Another nice touch is how the manga will sometimes use characters' voice lines verbatim as dialogue. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. I read these lines and hear the characters' voices in my head, being further transported into the world and role of Aseo. But <laughs> I already made a video about a popular media property having a character meant to be inhabited by the viewer, so I won't go further into that. Go check that video out. So what have we learned? The Elden Ring manga is good. It's good because it doesn't speak definitively to the lore, using comedy instead to take you into Limgrave and show the absurdity of a new player experience, something everyone who's played can relate to in some capacity. I totally recommend checking it out, whether you're a longtime Souls fan or a fresh face in the lands between. Give it a shot. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe. Share this video with all your friends, too. If you'd like to see more, here's some of my other work. It's possible that by the time you're watching this, I've started multi-streaming on YouTube, so be on the lookout for live streams here, and maybe I'm even live right now. If I am, come say hi. Hi. I, I also stream on Twitch all the time, so go follow me there too. That's, okay, that's all for plugs. Bye. See ya.